when you talk about completing the square, you have to know the shortcut. That if it's x plus 4 squared, you double this number to get this guy, and you square this number to get this guy. I've got a video on this. Follow it right now. Follow the link, and you'll see why this works. But there's a there's a, a shortcut that if you've got x plus 4 squared, you double this number to get that guy, you square it to, this, to get this guy. If you don't know that shortcut, if you haven't practiced a little bit, the rest of this seems kind of weird. But to complete the square, all you're doing is rewriting an equation. So let's say, for instance, you've got an equation like x squared minus 8x plus 3 equals 0. And we want to rewrite this to use one of these kind of looking guys. x plus something squared or x minus something squared. That's what completing the square kind of deals with. So here's what you do. You kind of just think of it like this. You kind of cover your hand over it. Okay. You think to yourself, well how could I get x squared minus 8x and then there's something underneath my hand using one of those little doodads like this. Remember the shortcut. You double that number to get this guy. So what's half of negative 8? It'd be negative 4. Right? So, I'm just going to blunder on you. Right? Act like that's not there. What is x minus 4 squared? Remember the shortcut. x minus 4 squared is the same thing as x squared minus 8x plus 16. This is the same thing as this. All right, so wrapped up inside these little parentheses is this whole trinomial. So you got the x squared, you got the minus 8x, you've got a 16 here. Well, if you look at the rest of the equation, there's a plus 3 equals 0. So really what you've got is wrapped up inside here, there's an extra plus 16 inside here that you have not accounted for on the other side of the equation. Remember the kind of the golden rule of algebra, if you do it to one side, you got it to the other. So you've got a plus 16 inside here. So if you add 16 over here, you better add 16 over here. All right. So now if you don't believe me, if I multiply this out, I should get this right here. So if you don't believe me, let's multiply this out. That right there is the same thing as x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 3 equals 16. If I subtract 16 away, it would be x squared minus 8x plus 3, because that cancels to 0, equals 0. That's exactly what I started with right there. That's how you complete the square. That's how you use completing the square to rewrite an equation. So, let's try another one. Let's try one like uh, oh, x squared plus 16x equals 4. And let's just rewrite it using complete, by completing the square. You take half a 16, take half a 16, and you get positive 8. All right? And I'm just going to rewrite the rest of it. Well, inside of this, Remember what happens if you multiply this out? It would be x squared plus 16x plus 64. There's a plus 64 inside here. So if you, you've added 64 to the left side by writing it like this. So add 64 over here. And you wind up with x plus 8 squared equals 68. This comes in handy whenever you're dealing with quadratic equations. You're trying to solve for quadratic equations or find their vertex. It also comes in handy when you're dealing with circles.